In this video, we will show you how to set up an MVDSL email account on an Apple product, an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod, a Mac, uh, what have you. First thing you need to do is go to settings, and then you want to go to mail contacts and calendars, and you want to add an account, and you're going to want to add type other for the account. You're going to want to add a mail account and then we're going to need to put a name and for this account it's going to be John Doe and his email address is going to be john.doe at at mvdsl oops and we need to put a password in and description of mvdsl which is fine click next it's going to look up the account it likes the account so you have a choice here as the type of account. You have IMAP or POP. On a, on a mobile device like this, we'd recommend IMAP. IMAP means that the messages stay on the MVDSL server all the time. But it also means that if you delete something on one device, it's going to delete on the other device. So it kind of keeps your different email if you're reading email on a, on a laptop, on a desktop, on a mobile device, it all kind of keeps them all in sync. So for this application, we recommend IMAP. Um, so now what we're going to do is we've got the name, the address, description. We need to set up the incoming mail server, which is mail.mvdsl.com. And we need to put the username in again, which is John. Dot. Do. This password's already in there. Outgoing mail server is the same thing. Mail. Dot. M V D S L. Dot com. Username, also John. Oops. And the password will need to enter again. And then click Next. It's going to verify the account. Assuming I got the password in, everything should be okay. Looks like I did things correctly. So we're going to hit save. It's going to add the account. Now you see the accounts here. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back in and verify that we've done everything correctly. So here's the MVDSL account that we just created. And we're going to want to click on the John Doe account. And if you look here, the incoming mail server's mail. We've got the username of John Doe, password, outgoing mail server. This is one of the things you probably ought to check again. It's mailed at mvdsl.com. And we're going to want to look at the primary outgoing mail server. Some things we want to pay attention to here. We've got the mail.mvdsl.com. We've got the username. We've got the password in there. Use SSL. We want that turned on. Authentication needs to be password. And server port needs to be 465. If any of these things are different, please go in and change them. So we're, we're done there. Now we want to look at the... Um, Go back to the account and we want to look at the advanced settings and once again we're primarily interested in using SSL and authentication of password and server port for IMAP should be 993. Everything looks good there so we're going to go ahead and click done and we're going to should be good to go. We're going to go back to mail and go back to settings I guess we can just kind of back out of it and now we can just check our messages. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is look at the right account here. So we're going to want to go to the MVDSL account. And it's checking for mail. And we have a bunch of me email addresses or email messages in there already from previous tests that I've sent. So it looks like everything's good. If you have problems, just give us a holler. Thank you.